Hey there guys, I'm back again today with another card trick. This is an effect which I believe is by Benjamin Earl. It's called Shades of Hofzinser. It's his take on Hofzinser's Aces, or at least that's what I can tell from the title and from the actual effect itself. It is a very nice effect. I do enjoy performing it quite a lot. And I'll just be using a regular deck of Jack Sellers from Theory 11. Nothing abnormal about them, just a completely standard deck of cards. And apologies in the delayed upload of this, I have actually just finished recording a reasonably sized stack of videos, which I should be able to upload over the next few days. So, um, I'm actually recording this one last, but I thought I'd upload it first, uh, just so you know that I have um, finished recording a few more videos. But I think that's probably enough talk for now, and that means we can get into the effect. So. Get the spectator to call out stop somewhere, let's say right here. This would be their selection. Now, I won't look at it, I'll just show it to the camera. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll probably put an annotation on the screen. Uh, and so, that's their selection. We'll place it on top and give the cards a few cuts to lose it into the centre, like so. Now, normally as a magician, you get four chances to find cards. Uh, around that, maybe five or six, or maybe only three, but normally four chances. Otherwise the spectator will just walk away. So we'll use four powers to represent these four chances, and we'll mix them up. Uh, and these get obviously smaller and smaller as you use up your chances. Maybe we'll shuffle them together for the last one, so you can see that we're down to the very last chance after all of our guesses at what your card is. Now. What we can do, just with a click of my fingers, is produce the four aces. Now, four aces are normally very helpful in effects, because you can use them to determine the suit of a card seen as there's diamonds, hearts, clubs, and spades. So, what we'll do is we'll take them out, just like this. The rest of the deck, uh, we don't need any more, so what we'll do is we'll place it just over here. And that means we can get back to the four aces. Now, spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. What we can do with these is obviously determine the suit of the card, as I said. So, I don't think your card was a spade, nor do I think that it was a heart, or a diamond for that matter, which means it must have been a club, but not just any club, the ten of clubs. So, that is a very nice effect. Um, like I said, more videos coming soon. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and as always, don't forget to leave a rate or a comment. Or if you enjoyed it enough, maybe even subscribe. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I shall see you all next time.